Hi guys and welcome to another episode of my unlock videos. The star of today's show is the new, well not so new you could say, but the HTC One. Very splendid design HTC has come up with. I love the aluminum back. It's um, very crafty, it's very sturdy. The only complaint I have about this phone is the fact that you can't take the battery out. Apart from that, and you can't add memory to it, that is. Um, you buy it in standard 16 or 32 gigabytes. But apart from that, the phone, I have no other complaints. It's a very beautiful phone. I'm just going to start it up. The feel and look to this phone is really, really good. I mean, if you, if you have this phone currently, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have it, go out there and get a feel of it at your local um, cell phone store. It's a really good phone to have. Compared to the S4, I like this a lot more. And a lot of um, people that know about cell phones that, is, that don't follow hype, they would tell you that yeah this phone is actually a lot more with HTC Sense and the UI and everything that HTC has put into this phone I personally feel that it's um, a much more uh, smarter phone than the S4 so here the phone is turned on and you can see um, right there on the bottom it said that uh, the network is locked so we're just gonna go right ahead and it's asking for the SIM network pin um, and since it's asking for the pin, obviously, for us to use it now um, with any other SIM card, this is locked to Rogers, by the way. So we need to. I want to use this phone with um, uh, any other carrier. So I have a Bell SIM card in here, and it uses a micro SIM, by the way. Here is the SIM card slot on the side. As you can see right here. So most of the phones are going that way, the iPhone style. So we're just going to go straight to the computer now. The famous website, which is slowly, um, this website will be integrated onto my website, smartphone.com. So you will find a link there on my website as well that you can not only purchase phones and listen to the reviews, etc., but you can also at the same time um, directly get the link from there. Um, I'm currently in talks with the company myself to get their link on my website. I know the guys very well. So this is sellunlocker.net. As usual from all my um, previous unlock videos and just to let you know like if you've watched any one of my unlock videos and thank you for every single person that has subscribed and thank you for every person that has watched and left a positive remark it really goes to prove that you know uh, the people are benefiting from my videos thank you very much I, I really appreciate that sincerely humbly about to all of you now uh, just wanted to let you know like uh, all smartphones are the same technique except in iPhones, um, as, especially if it's Android. Um, I, I've never unlocked or made an unlock video for iPhone yet or um, Blackberry, unfortunately. I, I plan to get uh, Blackberry, the newer versions up and running, uh, videos for them, the Q10, the Z10. Um, they're very simple to the same um, method almost, but um, it's just a different technique. But all Android phones, they most of them, they ask for the same method they ask you for unlock code when you uh, enter a foreign SIM card in. And like I've said before, you're not unlocking a phone um, to a network, you're unlocking a phone from a network. So for all those that have questions about what, um, if you bought a phone in Venezuela, for example, or Spain, or wherever, uh, what would be the procedure? You're not unlocking it for Spain, you're unlocking it from. So if you bought it from Canada, you're unlocking it to Spain you'd look to see who's the original provider that you got it from Rogers, Bell, Fido, Win, Mobilicity, whoever the phone may be, T-Mobile, Alcatel, whoever the phone's carrier may be, you're unlocking it from that provider. That's who you would enter here. Now, coming back to the computer. So, sellunlocker.net, we already have the website up, as you can see. And all the instructions are very, very clearly put there. All the phones on one side. All the instructions on the right next side you choose your phone here it's HTC one you can see the phone already listed you go down and you would be filling out the steps here I've taken the liberty of already filling out most of the steps so you would fill in your model your current network your IMEI number and look for code and once you've done that you will get this step two found IMEI number is valid and ready for processing. If it's a stolen phone, obviously it's not going to show up. Or if your IMEI number is bad. $24.99, very reasonable price for a phone that just not too long ago came out. We're talking under 
two, three months now that the phone has come out. Um, and I've seen some ridiculous pricing, but this is a really good price here. And this website here concurs to as the phones get older in models, the prices drop. So it's a newer phone, obviously you're paying a really reasonable price. And there is a guarantee. So for those of you that have had bad issues, please do take the time, email the company, send them a video if you haven't, let them know or take photos of, of the problem that you're having and, uh, and, 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 and attach it and send it forward to them and let them know, hey, this is what I'm encountering as a problem. They are there to help. They will help you. I, I know from personal experience. So don't uh, just write negative remarks in my videos or to the company and saying that they don't help. They do help. If you've had a bad experience, that's one single person having a bad experience. Doesn't mean that everyone is having the bad experience. Maybe you're not going about it the right way. Being aggressive will never ever get you anywhere, any success with anyone. So kindly, if you just approach the company in the proper way, ask them for help. I'm sure they will. Anyways, I don't want to get sidetracked. So once this is done, there's a little bit new procedure here that they've put in. And that is that you fill out your name, your email address, etc. like I've always said. And at the bottom here, you fill out your country, your state, and your city. I've already filled out the details here in, um, at the bottom. If you're in Toronto, obviously it's Canada, Ontario, and Toronto. And then you fill out your name, etc., which is compulsory if you want them to obviously send you the code. Once that's finished, you place your order. You can either pay via PayPal. You can either pay via. Um, you can either pay via. Oh, I'm all up in your face. Sorry about that, guys. That's not comfortable. Right. You can either pay via PayPal or you can buy, uh, pay via credit card. They will send you a confirmation in your email, and that's that. Now, um, usually the HTC they have um, a feedback uh, uh, response time of. Um, two to ten minutes or ten to half an hour max two to ten minutes is the fastest turnaround time two minutes can you imagine two minutes and that's it so i already got the code for this phone and here it is you'll receive a similar email to this this is because i'm a registered user to sell unlocker.net my emails look like this but you'll get a letter with your code in it so here's the imei Here's the unlock code. As you can see, and the heading I just want to show you, sellunlocker.net, so it's not a spoof email. And once that's done, then we're gonna go straight now to the phone and unlock it for your purposes. So you can see that the website does work, by the way. If I'm unlocking the phone on this video, how is it possible that you can't get it done? It's, like I said, my daughter, three years old, she can manage to do this. Okay. So you can see SIM network unlock pin, it's asking for you right there. SIM network unlock pin. Now, let's just enter this code 182. And make sure that the code that they give you, you put it in the right way. Obviously, if you enter it wrong, it's not going to work, right? And that's the one thing about HTC, they turn off really quick. We're going to have to do this really fast, guys. 1828030. Here we go. We're just going to press the button quickly. Done. You can see successful. You can see the word right there, successful. Right? Successfully unlocked from the network rebooting. Right? Okay? So it's that. Like I've always said, if you missed it, you missed it. I can't I can't get that done back. Once unlocked, a phone can never be relocked again. It's not like a key, right? So the phone is starting up. I've got a dead SIM card in here, it's just a, one of my SIM cards. I have hundreds of SIM cards um, since I use them all over. So I don't know, it should pick up reception, but being a, a dud bell SIM card, I, I'm not sure. I'm just waiting for it to start up and let you guys know. By the way, I just wanted to let you guys know, smartphone.com, my website, smrtphon.com is almost up and running. I'm just waiting for 
one or two little things up to go and I'm getting some um, uh, promotional material up and running too. So my website, it's got a splash page right now. If you check it out, it'll be there. Um, we're almost ready to go for everyone. So you'll have, I have my Twitter, I'll have my Facebook, everything uh, linked in with that. And you guys can leave your reviews there. You can check out the website. You can follow all my videos from there as well. Um, you can get the unlocking sources from there. And at the same time, I'll be doing a lot of new, um, apart from unlock videos, I'll be trying to do a lot of promotional videos for like um, reviews on phones, etc. Like I said in the past before. So we're almost there. So right now, like I said, it's going to show no service because like the phone obviously will not pick up. But just going through. Most of the time, you can just always check and see if your phone is working by just pulling down the font menu, the and pressing settings. And when you go to settings, you go to more, and you go to mobile network sharing. And when you click that, it will give you the option here. Well, in this case, it's a, it's a, it's another menu altogether. Um, here you go down about network 